Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and in today's video, I'm going to be testing the Revlon One Step Blowout Curls. I'm really excited for this. I love testing new hair tools and I'm a big fan of Revlon hair tools actually. So I saw this in the Ulta catalog last week and I ordered it immediately because I've never seen anything like it. So it's called the Revlon One Step Blowout and it was $75, which is kind of expensive for Revlon, but I guess they're justifying it because it's a two-in-one tool. So it's a blowout and a curling iron in one. So let's open the box. Let's see what's inside. So this is what comes in the box. And what's interesting is it's a detachable tool. I feel like Revlon's doing that lately because my Revlon One Step Hair Dryer also is detachable. So the two attachments, it has a root drying concentrate, which reduces dry time and preps for curling. And then the 360 degree vented barrel, so you can see how it's see-through that dries and then also will help set the curl. This actually looks very similar to the base on my Revlon One Step. Like I think it's like, I th is it the same? Let's just see, how do you do this? Oh, okay. Let's just see if this goes on. Yeah, so this actually fits my Revlon One Step which I love. This is the best thing ever, like truly. I don't even have a regular blow dryer anymore because this is all that I use. So this has cool, low, medium, and high for heat settings. This is a one and a quarter inch barrel. And I feel like honestly, this could be a good hybrid for people that wanted to love the Dyson Airwrap, but didn't. Like it was a cool tool. I liked it. It's just so expensive. And I feel like the price right there excluded the majority of people from even trying it because it's just, it's so expensive. It's crazy to spend that much on a hair tool, but I did. I bought it when it first launched, like a few months after it first launched and it was at the Sephora sale. So I had my Rouge discount code 20% off. And in the three years I owned it, I probably only used it seven times. And most of those times were to do reviews and comparisons. So I ended up selling my Dyson this past spring and I literally broke even. <laughs> But the thing with the Dyson is it definitely gave me beautiful initial blowout curls, but they didn't last very long on me and it took so long to do. And then it also made my flyaways look even more wild because it would blow them all around. So I did discover this flyaway taming stick that I'm gonna link below for you because it works so well. Hopefully this doesn't make my flyaways go crazy, but if it does, I'll show you how the stick works later in this video. I also feel like this would be good for people that never got into curling wands. I just prefer a curling iron. I feel like because I have layers, the clamp just holds it in place better and I don't have, I never burn myself with a curling iron, but with a wand every time I've tried one, I have burned myself. <laughs> so I feel like this is gonna be perfect for me. And then you're also supposed to use this on damp hair. So if you're one of those people that likes to curl your hair the same day that you wash it, this could potentially save you a lot of time. So unlike a curling iron, you don't heat this up before you start using it. You literally just plug it in, turn it on whatever heat setting you want and go for it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. My hair is basically dry. It's very lightly damp. I actually never curl my hair on wash day, so I don't, I, it's been so long since I've done it. Hopefully it'll even hold a curl, but we're gonna just do my hair the same exact way that I would curl it, just with this instead. So let's see if my method works out. Let's test this first. My hair is basically dry, so I'm not gonna really get to see if it works to dry my hair, but it's an interesting tool. Like I've never really used anything that looks like this before. So let's just see how it feels. So to turn it on, you just turn this. I'm going to fast forward through all of the blow drying parts because it's loud and it's going to be long. Okay, I can already tell you I will never ever use this tip ever again because it's really hard, kind of pulls on my hair, especially if my hair is damp, it's super tangly. And if you have tangly hair, you need the seven seconds spray from Unite. It's the detangling spray. I tried to go without it and let me tell you, you definitely notice the difference when you use it. If you have tangly hair, I'm gonna link that below for you. It is a must. And it also is a heat protectant, so it's like a two-in-one spray. But yeah, this I would definitely never use. I would 
so much rather just use this because these are so much more bendy so i feel like i'm not going to damage my hair by using this i will say that this gets really really hot so if you have very very fragile hair i probably wouldn't recommend the blow drying uh head for you t3 has one it's substantially more expensive but it doesn't get as hot and it makes my hair look just as smooth i just find that it takes longer because my hair is super thick i have straight really thick hair so it's it's just whatever your hair type is you definitely should buy tools for your hair type but i'm curious to see because this is the same base as this how hot this guy is gonna get but i'm not yeah this little head i'm not into when i curl my hair i always section it into sections <laughs> <laughs> because sorry I'm kind of I'm recovering from a cold and I'm just a little bit loopy still but I really wanted to film this today because I washed my hair so <laughs> this is what you get but um when I when I curl my hair I do put it in sections so I'll put up the majority of my hair just in a simple clip and then I'll leave down a little bit and then I actually clamp the hair that I just finished curling back and then I just do that up my head. So that way I don't keep continuing to curl the same hair and I don't miss any hair. I just find that that works best for me. I see other people that just can like leave all their hair down and curl. Maybe I just have too much hair to do that, but I just, I leave out sections of hair if I do that. I also have another video if you want to see how I curl my hair on a regular day with a curling iron just for like easy beachy waves. So I will link that below for you as well because I, I feel like my method is pretty easy. It's very beginner friendly, which I'm not like a hair pro. I just, I like testing hair tools. Okay, so let's get into this. So the way that I would, this is so weird. I'm not sure if I should turn this on first and then try to grab it. Okay, so let's just start testing it. I'm gonna turn it onto high because that's usually where I curl at, especially on the lower layers of hair that's healthier. And we'll just see how it goes. So I would normally play music over dead space like this, but every time I pick a song, even if it's royalty free, I get dinged on my YouTube. So it's just going to be silent <laughs> while I curl my hair, but you can see that first curl, it just was not working very well. So I did try it again and just, it's hard to grab when the curling iron is on, like when the blowing air is running through the curling iron, it makes it harder to grab the hair. Wow. Okay, look at this curl. So it definitely gets hotter than a curling iron because it's blowing hot air on you. But this is like, this is a beautiful bouncy curl. I'm impressed. I did find that when you're clamping, cause like when I curl out my hair, I will go, I start at the, gosh, I start at the base and then I turn away from my face and like slowly loosen the clamp. And then I grab more hair and slowly loosen the clamp. And as you loosen the clamp, the hair kind of comes out of the curling iron. So it might not be the best method here, but let me test one more layer the way I did this one and then I'll experiment with something different on the next round. I actually really like it. It works just like a curling iron, but it's like taking out the step of having to dry and then curl. This is, I'm just testing this Moroccan oil hairspray. I'm not really picky with hairsprays. I haven't found one that's like completely changed my life before. If you have any hairspray recommendations, let me know. I don't like them when they're super stiff. And this one is a strong finish, but it doesn't feel stiff, so I do like that. Okay, and then I grab my little clip and I just clamp my hair back. I twist it and clamp it back. Just keep it out of the way. So the middle of my head is still way more damp, definitely. So this will be interesting to see how it works on this section of hair. This is hot, it's laying on my leg. Okay, yeah, this hair is definitely more wet. I'm gonna try to grab a bigger chunk this time, and I'm gonna do it as if it was a curling iron this time. So I'm gonna start with it off and try to grab all my hair in the wand and then turn it on. And let's see how that works. That's interesting. I feel like the ends look curled, but it kind of just neglected this whole middle section here. I might just have had 
too much hair. But let me try it again. Because that part was kind of left out. All right, there we go. That's a good curl. I'll just move on up. I did like that method of grabbing it first and then turning it on. So we're gonna do that again. Okay. I mean, these curls look really good. They're very bouncy. This is exactly what I would get from the same size curling iron, so I'm impressed. I'm just gonna continue to move up my hair and if there's anything that I notice that's like, okay, that definitely <laughs> was an issue, I will pop back on here and let you guys know, but if not, I'll just show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so I am three quarters of the way done. I wanted to leave the top part out so you guys could see what that part looks like to style, but initial thoughts just on the lower half, I feel like the curls are beautiful. You can't grab too much hair if your hair is damp because it doesn't dry it. So I feel like I had to separate this one piece and redo each one separately because the hair up top was still damp even though the curls were there at the bottom. I needed to finish drying that. I do feel like it's a little bit more poofy than if I was to blow dry it straight with my round brush and then curl it, but that's because I'm literally blowing it dry into a curl. <laughs> it's just a whole different method. Okay, so we are going to finish the top part together and see how it goes. So I prefer the pre-clamp and then turn it on and dry method. I just feel like it's, I mean, even with my layers, getting this clamp to clamp onto them has been kind of a struggle. It might just be the way that the, uh, the bottom, like the base of this little curling, like you can see right here. I feel like my hair sticks out the bottom of that and I don't know how to get it up more. <sighs> see what I mean? But that's probably just something that would take practice with any new hair tool. Let's try this again. <laughs> so it started at the top and then clamp it down and then turn it up. It's hard too because I have all my layers in the top part. So let's see how this curls. <laughs> Looks a little funny, but you know. <laughs> All right, that one looks good. Curious to see how this will settle, but we're almost done here. All right. So I definitely have my flyaways going crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys that stick that I use, but this is the finished look. It definitely leaves some of the ends out more, so it does give you more of that beachy wave. This looks like I completely missed a section, but I didn't. These flyaways. Okay, let's brush it out a little bit and see. So my hair is completely dry, so that part is cool. And I do feel like it gave me a big, voluminous blowout look. I actually really like it. I think it looks awesome. I think I need to practice with it more, but I really, I'm impressed. I actually really like it. I wasn't sure halfway through, I was starting to question everything, but I like it. This is the flyaway taming stick. It is magical. It smells amazing. You just push it up from the bottom and then you just brush your flyaways down. And I don't like to put on too much because it can make your hair look greasy. So you just use it very sparingly and then you can kind of disperse it with your fingers. But look at 
that. It's amazing. So, so, so good. Ta -da! I love it. Okay, I recommend this tool. I'm impressed. It feels really sleek, like it feels smooth. Let me try to stand up and show you guys. How can I do this? Can you see that? Definitely recommend this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this informative. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is at lauren.arrow and I will see you next time.